Hey y'all, it's Haplin, just doing a little bit of tech training this morning, and I wanted to share it with the whole group based on the answer to a question in the Elite group. So this person asked, how do I have a GHL that separate calendar for each service while ensuring the appointments don't overlap? There's two calendars we're going to create, a 45 minute and a one hour 30 minute, and it's for the same person. They want to be able to do different treatments, but still have the same availability. And that's pretty easy to do. All we're going to do, the first thing you're going to need is at least one staff member. So I have a staff member created here. This could be the actual person you're booking for, or it could just be a dummy. It doesn't actually matter as far as the tech is concerned. We just need to be able to have the events cross-reference each other. So they both have to be assigned to the same user. Typically, the calendar that we use is an unassigned booking. So when you that's it's one of these so when you go to edit the sales off calendar in any one of our snapshots you don't see any people involved you can integrate a calendar and this would be another way to do it if they both are synced to the same google calendar on a one way then you could do it with google as the intermediary that daisy chains them to talk to one another but you can also just do it internally if you create new calendars that are for round robin booking now we can see that we've got an appointment just appointment distribution setting we're going to make sure the user is added. So in this case, I would make the first one cryofacial here. <clears throat> and then save and continue. And then, oh, this log is required. And I'm going to gloss over most of the, oh. Lots over the other stuff that we pretty much know. We want to make sure appointments for slot is only one here because they're not going to be able to book, you know, more than one person in for that time. But the rest of it is pretty straightforward. We do want to know this all looks good. Yep. So then we just want to do the whole thing over again, but for the next calendar. And again, use round robin, the same users. So now the same users for both calendars here. And again, we're going to make sure only one appointment per slot. Now the same user is assigned to both these calendars, which is good. And now let's go ahead and book an appointment. So I'm just in a little test contact here. Let's go ahead and book the appointment in, yeah, in just one of these calendars. Let's set it for perfect. I'll set it for tomorrow just in case. Book it. All right, so now that's in here. And now if we go to the calendars, obviously we can see the automation was still running. If we go to user one's calendar here, <clears throat> we'll see that there is that test test slot in there. And it is in the, I think the 45 minute, it's not in the one hour 30 minute, but because it is in that user's availability, if we were then going to go try to book in the other one, let's test that out. Appointment, let's try to set up another one for the same time in the other calendar. So in the other calendar, we should see tomorrow at 8 a.m. is not available because it's been taken, even though it's on the other calendar, it's the same user availability. So that is how we would go about conducting the tech to achieve what this question is asking. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great one.